For today we are gonna dive one more time underwater, but this time not completely. To do this I got some images to work with and I managed to turn this composition that has absolutely nothing into one that you might like. So that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. Before going into Photoshop I wanted to know if you have any idea for the next monthly theme which will be in April. Maybe you want to see me creating something related to a specific topic or maybe you just have a cool idea. Let me know down below in the comments and also make sure to hit the like button because it really helps me a lot. Now to see today's piece we have to first switch to Photoshop. First thing first I got this ocean image which will make the split between the two environments. I made this very small as you can see it also adds depth and with the marquee tool I removed the sky. The second thing I did was to add the underwater part, to which I also removed the top because we simply don't need it. Then for the background I found this beach image from which I was interested only in these rocks. I made them bigger and after finding the right place using the quick selection tool, I duplicated the right rock in order to add it in the water. I found that if I switch the layer to soft light and reduce the opacity it will create the perfect effect. So that's what I did. I set the value to around 20%. Then the exact same thing on the left part. Now it's time to drop the skull which is a 3D asset from Envato Elements. As you can see I mask out a bit of it and then carefully painted back some parts in order to create this effect. This image will fill up the entire underwater area. I also used it on soft light, then I made it a bit darker with an exposure adjustment layer and it started to look like something. I divided the skull into bottom and upper parts. This time I couldn't set it on soft light so I had to manually made it part of the environment with an exposure and color balance adjustment layers. After that I painted with blue on top of it to make it a bit vague since it is underwater. I felt that the image is a bit empty so I decided to add chains that hold the skull down there. I duplicated the layer and by doing so I basically extended the chain itself and after masking some parts I used the puppet warp tool to make the perfect shape. I did the same steps for the left side and then I just lowered the exposure and changed the color to blue. Here I use the concrete texture and even if we don't see a big difference right now by using it, after adding the camera raw filter and increasing the clarity and texture, the change will be visible. Then this mossy texture will make it look more realistic and it is also a cool effect to add. After adjusting the blend if slider, I painted the moss here and there, same for the upper part which is not in the water. To fill up this entire remaining space that we have, I use this plan for both the foreground and the background. These two will be closer to the camera, so it means that we have to make them darker and bigger. For the background is kind of the same, just a bit more vague. After all of this, the remaining segment will show you how I managed to create different light sources, shadows, highlights, add different overlays, all of this stuff. I know some of you like this speed art part, so make sure to let me know what you think about the final result. 